Israel Adesanya versus Robert Whitaker, the rematch. You've seen the first fight. You've seen what Israel did to, to Whitaker. No one's done that to him. <laughs> in, the, in the rematch, what do, you, do you see something different? I, I think it depends on what, I think it depends on Robert's mindset. I, I think if he comes with a, with the right mindset, I think he can do it. But, you know, when you get beat like that, I, he, I, some people just have some people's numbers. You know what I mean? It may be one of those things that he just might not be able to come back from that. Um, I think he's got the skills to do it, you know, but you got to remember, I mean, if, if you're not adding in the wrestling to that game, you're playing his game. Like that's Izzy's game. So everything you do, you know, even if, you know, going back to video game, like right now, at, you know, pure striking, he's, in, you know, he's, he's in the 90s. Even if Robert's in the 80s, you're still not there. Yeah. So there's still going to be that, I, you know. So I think it's possible. If I was Robert, I would really be looking to add more of the takedowns into the game. I think his speed is very underrated. And I really do believe that the way that he moves, if he adds in the right takedowns and can find them at the right time, he can definitely make something happen down there. But, you know. Well, he was a, a Commonwealth champion, I believe, in Australia yeah. for wrestling. So his wrestling is pretty, pretty in-depth, right? Yeah. Like, he knows how to do it. But and you know what? It, it's one of those things, man, like uh, how much – I tell people all this. How much do you work on your transitions? It's one thing to wrestle. It's another thing to wrestle when you're throwing punches. It's different. It's different. So how much have you worked your transitions? You know, a lot of these guys that have wrestled their whole lives, they'll wrestle. They'll find a way to make it happen, you know? But if you, you wrestled, you know, but like it wasn't necessarily your life, now you're a, you're a very good striker, you know, how much of the past five, 10 years have you really dedicated to that aspect of your craft? You know, you do find a lot of people do neglect things that, you know, they, ah, you, know, I, I, you know, I don't really want to take somebody down anyways. So I'm not really going to focus on my wrestling techniques or this, this or that, you know? I, I don't know that that's him because I don't know him personally. Um, but, you know, that, that could be an issue of concern to say, you know, can you really pull it back? You know, how much have you learned how to transition from one to the other? You know, your fleet footedness, your kicks are amazing. You, you're able to dart in and out. Are you able to change that level and go? I know you have it in you, but are you prepared to make that part of your game plan? Or are you going to say, I'm going to beat him right here, you know? Blaovic, he took him down, kept him down. So I guess I mean, it that's gives also him, a big ass man. Yeah, that is. And uh, guess. Whitaker, his speed, I feel like his scrambles, and in the scramble is where he's gonna win. Do you agree with I, that? I do agree. I, th I think it's I, I think it's a big point that he could really make something happen. Mm -hmm. If I was his coach, I, that's one of the things that I would be looking at. I'd be like, look, how can we freeze Izzy's feet and attack? Mm -hmm. You know, off an angle. That's the thing. Like, you can't freeze his feet and attack him head on. You're going to die. We found that out already. How many people have, you know, you know been knocked silly? Yeah. So you've got to find a way to freeze his feet, cut an angle, and attack a takedown. And be able to transition between your takedowns. It's not just going to be one. You know, Jan's a big dude, so when he grabs you, good luck, you know. Robert's not as big. He might not be as strong. I, is he, you know, is he going to be able to do that, or does he need a few more transitions to help him find the right takedown and get to the right positional control? Um, that's possible. And also, if where he gets the takedown mm -hmm. is so important, right mm -hmm. inside the cage. Yeah, I, you know, and it, it's funny. I think I think as MMA has grown, unless you're a Khabib or you know an Islam like. You're, a lot of guys are finding ways to use the cage to protect them. Mm -hmm. You know, you get your back to the cage, you're able to keep somebody off you. You know, unless you're one of those guys, you know, we've got um, a big guy named, here, Anatoly, who's fighting for the one championship uh, heavyweight title. I do my damnedest to keep my back against the wall. He's like, no, and grabs my hip. And the minute he's got my hip, I'm like, oh, shit. You know, and you know you're in, you're in a problem. You know, I've, I've never had anybody grab, grab me from behind like this and me not be able to break his grip. And I'm like, well, that's not real. Like it, you know, but some people have that. So 
you know, but if you don't have that, you know, sometimes I, I think it's better to take somebody down off the cage. You've got more transitions, you've got more movements. They can't use the walls to protect them at all. So if you know where you're going and you can stay a step ahead, that can be a really good thing for you. Now, also, if you get somebody that doesn't know how to use the cage, though, use the cage to your advantage and beat them up, you know? So you gotta, you know, I think it's evaluating your opponent and saying, okay, do I know where their skill set lies? Where would be the best place to find that takedown? You know, once you do that, then you can kind of game plan for it and look for something more specific.